Good afternoon guys, today is the 8th of January 2016. I'm going to be going over some trade ideas for this week. Remember these are just trade ideas, you need them to obviously set up, come into range of support or resistance before you go ahead and take positions. First on the list for this week is Weight Watchers. Obviously we know that the chart had an explosive move this week. The chart have retraced, sitting right above the 200 SMA at this point. For me, ideally, I would even like if it comes back into this range and retest this downtrend breakout line. So that'll put you obviously somewhere closer to about 1160 or so on a nice pullback for a retest of that trend line. And then I'd try some on the long side. The chart does have a nice, uh, nice range to it if you can get yourself into an entry. Next on this week's list is Facebook. So we know that uh, money have been rotated into some of these names over here. We do have the chart breaking out of a trend line down here. So what we did have was a tight consolidation range and the chart now coming right up into this breakout pivot point over here. Puts you within a, a, a respectable area but there's also a gap over here that might get filled. So what I'd like to see is I'd like to see a continuation push into this range where then I would look for some top and possible resistance areas coming off of this top. So for right now, strong volume, breakout of the downtrend, closing over the 200 SMA. I'm pretty bullish on this one for another continuation move to the upside. HD is the next one that I'm looking at. Chart slowly bleeding off here a little bit. Seems like the chart wants to come back and retest this area here at the 50 EMA and also the 200 SMA. So if the chart comes into this 132 range, I would look for some support here and then a possible long. So for right now, you can play the downtrend as resistance, bring it back down into this area here. So any pop towards this area, you bring it back down here for a couple points and then wait for it to see if it holds any support at that area. I'm looking at Biotech coming into this week here with a little strong move. Nice breakout range here, chart sitting over its 200 SMA and also over the 50 EMA. Increase in volume here in the last three sessions. I like it for a long and a continuation move higher. So I would like to play this one obviously if it pulls back even at $37.42, find some support off of the previous day's highs and then get a nice continuation move to the upside. Obviously with the biotech in mind, I'm looking at a few biotech names and ESPR pops out to me. It's been a chart that's been broken down for a while but it's finally tested the 200, came back and closed over the 200 with a bullish Harami star on Friday's close. Increased volume here with the risk obviously to the 200 puts you at a decent risk reward trade for a nice little continuation to the upside. PSX strong volume sell-off day chart broke the swing low area down here puts you obviously in a nice short opportunity on a retest to this range. So I'd like to see a push back up into this $86 range as long as you see rejection candles here. I think it would be a nice short opportunity. Bring it back down to the 50 EMA where it should find some support into this range. The 200 SMA comes all the way down to 81. So we could have a lot of room down here if the chart decided to sell off on continuation volume to the downside. Live is an interesting chart. Had a huge move to the upside. Chart came all the way back to the 50 EMA here, exuberant selling candle on Friday's session. I do like it for a long into this range. I feel like the chart can hold some support here, and I'd like to be I'd like to be long off of this area here. I did pick a position up on Friday, and so let's see if we can get a continuation move off of that 50 EMA retest. It's also obviously a nice retrace of the entire move, a good fib retrace there. Should should provide a nice little upside if we can get some volume coming in. Kellogg's charts break in the short term uptrend here. So short term uptrend, well it's not actually breaking it but it's testing it here. So if we don't see any buyers here I'd like to see the chart curl back down. 
we have seen that the chart shown that it has it's it's having problems with the with the 50 EMA here so you can use this as a tight little wedge reference you can play it long off the trend until the top here short it at the 50 or you can wait for the chart to break down the downtrend here and see if we can get a short for right now okay so before I said it's breaking but it's not actually breaking yet so we can wait for this chart either to break down or up obviously it's in a tight wedge here you'd need some more buyers to come in here in order to bring it back up but uh, it's definitely a setup trade for this week there's a tight little range here and the chart could have a nice little move either to the upside or the downside ETRM we know this chart's been a monster mover for the last couple days but I do feel like the chart has more room to the upside so oddly enough I, I it's hard for me to uh, it's hard for me to pick an area where I think it holds support but if the chart was to push pull back down into this range here about seven dollars and fifty cents it could be a uh, a breakout pivot area that can serve as a support for another move to the upside I do feel like the chart has more room to the upside so keep it keep it on a close watch last one on this list is ARWR chart came into the gap here on Friday session broke over some immediate areas of resistance now that we're into the gap a pullback to about 180 or so if the chart was to hold that range risk down to Friday sessions low could put you into a nice little move for a possible test of this 50 EMA um, so that those are the those are the few names that I'm looking at coming into this week obviously I only do the video with 10 per week and um, there are a lot of setups out there but you have to be patient and wait for them to happen don't get yourself uh, you know to um, don't get yourself too to uh, jumpy on some of these charts just make sure that you wait for the setups to happen and once you can define your risk obviously then it'll be a safer trade for you have a great week all take care